the last video of 2022 here at Jubilee Road. Another year has gone. Where on earth did that go? As usual, it's always gone so quickly and I've still not done enough work on this layout. As you can see, see this back scene here? Go back to the last video I did last year and I said I'm going to do that. It's a year later and it's still no back scene. Really need to pull my finger out, don't I? Gosh. And there's just stuff everywhere I need to get on with and so hopefully next year I might actually do it But if you see me not doing it like that back scene fire, feel free to shout at me and tell me to get on with it That might work. I don't really know So in the video then we are just gonna have a short look around the layout and have the final departure here on the layout You might notice a couple of trains running around. We have going in that direction. We have the uh, Bachman 94 pannier tank and then we have a King class about to appear on there, that's the Hornby one uh, coming around as well. So what what we're going to do in this video, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who supported the channel over the last year. It's been really good uh, to have new subscribers to the channel, plenty of comments coming through and the channel is still growing. It's been growing all year and we are getting so close now to that 10,000 subscriber mark. What? How has that happened? I'm just a complete nutter here in Wales playing with my train set. Oh, hang on. Train set? Oh, I better not say that. That might get some angry faces. Layout, should we say? Train now, not train set. We don't want to cause arguments in the, um, in the chat for that one, do we? But yeah, it's so good and it would be really fantastic to get to 10,000 subscribers next year. More than ever, because next year I've been doing videos for 10 years. Wow, I really have. You can go back to my first video I done. I think it was September around about 10 years ago. Wow, where's that gone? And the video is a load of junk, as you would expect. I didn't know what I was doing. So also, I just want to quickly say thank you to MIB Models. Again, uh, they've been a fantastic model shop over the last year. And of course, I'm still going to keep coming back and spending money with you, obviously. Uh, GLR Bespoke Service, again, because this layout wouldn't exist around me if it wasn't for them. And thank you for still putting up with me and letting me work with you. I don't know why they do that, because I wouldn't let me work on myself. You see what happens here. Better not touch anybody's uh, locos, because they're probably, oh, I don't know. Probably all go wrong, won't it? And obviously other people who have sent locos here over the last year, thank you so much, it's been really good. And obviously TRS Trains, as you remember, I did a few videos for him as well, so thank you. And obviously not forgetting my dad giving me a big hand here at the layout, it's always good to do that. So what we're going to do now is obviously get into showing you uh, the layout quickly before we have the last departure. Obviously I will be taking a short break for about a week or week and a half now. Uh, so I'll be back sort of halfway through maybe the second week of January, something like that, with the new channel trailer. And uh, welcome to the layout for 2023. And maybe have a look at Hornby's range, because that's coming up shortly as well. Be interesting to see what they have for us. Not a clue which way they're going to go. We shall see. So, yeah, that is it from me. Huge thank you once again for supporting the channel. And I do really read all your comments and it's really good to hear from you. So let's just show you a few areas of the layout which I have been working on and which is coming up early in 2023. So let's go and take a look at that. Now this is the sort of the main area which is receiving quite major attention. Now you've probably can see that there is slight differences here. The shed building has changed and I've removed the ballast and put this point in as you can see there. Now some of you will know if you're over on the Facebook page what is going on. So let's turn the camera around. So we've got more point work in here to an all new board. So yes, this might be the first time you're seeing this. Now yes, you can hear the heater which is under there because it's again, it's quite cold here in Wales. This is the depot extension. Yeah, I know Dubly Road couldn't get any bigger. Well, it can. We've got two shed buildings. This was the one that was down the other end which I just showed you. And that is an all new building which was scratch built by Russell. An incredible job and I will be showing that off more uh, in 2023. 
the plan is with this area I am going to do a short build series where you see me doing the work track laying putting the lighting in and doing some of the detail work I won't be using this track uh, I want to go for the wooden sleepers in this depot area to so it in keeping with the rest of it and you might have seen I've taken this bit of track up because I just wasn't happy with it so I'll be probably including that in the build series uh, so I reconnect the main shed area so that is what I'm going to be doing early next year showing you how I build this and you can see it gives so much more space well not for me look at look look at this gosh really using all the available space and you can see there inside the shed which I'm going to be putting a concrete hard standing in and all that kind of stuff so this is going to be a nice project for the beginning of 2023 and this is the other small job which I actually started fairly recently. You might be able to guess exactly what it is. This will be a foot crossing. Now I'm not going to be using uh, these here. They're just there as a temporary so I know how to do it. I will be uh, using the scale mod model scenery should I say uh, foot crossing to go over there and I'm going to make an entrance into there as you can see I have put the fencing in and we're going to detail all that up and it'll be nice to have a foot crossing across there if you come to this angle it just adds a little bit more detail doesn't it so that's the only other thing I have worked on uh, during uh, the last month or so of the year Come over to the opposite side of the layout now to where I mentioned about this back scene. I'm so hoping by the end of January this will be a back scene. So please remind me in the comment sections you need to do your back scene because I really do. So the other bit of work I am doing is the 009 as you can see here. This is where the platform will be this side. Uh, you can see this piece of track here won't be that far over. It'll join into here and then run down to that point. But the problem is this is the wrong point. I need what's called a mainline point so it's more streamlined for it to come in here. So I'm going to replace that point uh, early uh, in the new year. Uh, we've got these two points which are fairly new so they can run around their train. We've got Brito Mart uh, sitting there. This will be the entrance up into the platform. The, the passengers will come up the step here. I will be putting a doorway into this tower so they can get around there. There'll be a low fence across here and then we come into the station building so it'll be a lot more space as you can see in that gap. Uh, hopefully our, our station building, canopy and platform being put in there. So that will be really nice to see. Basically, I haven't been done doing that much work as you know. So that is pretty much all I'm going to show you around the layout. There is tons of work to do, which you probably know that. So uh, we'll keep up to date with all of that during 2023. So basically, that is it from me for 2022. Again, thank you everyone for watching. I'm going to leave you now with a final departure here at Jubilee Road. And all that's left to say is a massive happy new year and I hope 2023 brings a lot more fun and enjoyment here in the hobby. I'll be back in January in about two weeks time with loads more railway content for you and the all new channel trailer. And for the last time in 2023, bye everyone.